Hi guys, and we're at episode 3 of the Bass Bandit already. Now, um, yeah, what I'm doing here is I've decided it's a good idea to dress this knight onto the floor. Spent the best part of 20 minutes doing so, but you know, I think we got there in the end. Well, that's enough of that nonsense. Now, in the previous episode, Toby and I stumbled across the remnants of a base, and that's where I'm heading to now. A nice green barrel there, isn't there? Look, they damaged their yellow barrels to make them less... I don't know if it's to make them less noticeable, but I don't think it is, because this lot would have been undercover. It would have all been hidden. I have a rope. This is going to be such a steady thing to do, though. Carry these barrels. This is the speed we're blessed with now for the next 15, 20 minutes. Um, did -um, did -um. I underestimated the time. It took nearly an hour to get it back, but back. I got it back. Don't worry. And like I said before, putting these barrels into trees is not as easy as it used to be. I'm not happy with this, but, you know, it's a place. I carried it for that long. It's just going to have to do. So we've got two barrels now and lots of stashes dotted around. Oh, and, and that tent. And although we've only just started the episode, that was that for me. I was absolutely shattered after carrying that barrel all that distance. So the next day we're going to pick it up, where I'm just heading over to the tent location. Right, where are we? Somewhere over here. Hey, the tent went. Someone's had me fucking tent. Oh, bastards! The absolute fucking bastards! Why you make so many stashes? Well, th there's there's the answer. I put a tent here, right on the edge of the map, and someone's at it. Oh, you say when? I want that plastic. They want those plastic explosives, though. Like I said, when I placed it, poor positioning, but still, sad it's gone. Now, a bit later in the day, Toby joins us. We're going to try and get set up and go for our first toxic run. Well, I think what you need to do is have your other backpack for when you bury that backpack. Because this is what I was thinking, right? And I don't know, you can probably fine-tune this. We go over there with just pretty much a couple, like a gun in our hands and, and two guns. Maybe a suppressed pistol. And then we, we have a dry bag and a backpack. Mm -hmm. And inside our inventory, we have a full toxic suit. We get to somewhere near, we bury our own gear in a dry bag so that it doesn't get nicked. It's probably a bit excessive. We could probably dump it in, a, in just in a backpack, uh, go in, loot loads of stuff, come out, and switch gear, switch gear back over, and then bury the toxic gear somewhere near the site in a dry bag mm -hmm. and then it's ready for the next point of entry in a few days or whenever that sounds like a plan and then we bring the gear back stow it away and there's a v3s down there we need to get going so we can move camp because this is not suitable mm -hmm. for a permanent position so This 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 away. Let's get the uh, a full kit together first. I know I know there is there are there are two full kits here plus. So there's like there's there's kits plus spares. Someone's dug up the cr the crate and left load left left the uh, stuff here. Firstly, impetus to move camp set. And dug this one up. So the tent's compromised. The stashes are compromised. But still, we're going to push on and do this toxic run. Somewhere here? Or a bit closer? I think here's... Hill, isn't it? So if you, you go off and... Uh, let's well, I need to change into me... I need to change into me um, special pants first. Yeah. I'm not putting a gas mask on yet. 
No, that if we come in on the southern, like on the northern end, along the coast, we can go into the boat first and then take out the zombies on our, on our way out. Because they're, they're, they're not going to be the main, the main loot like, like objects, are they? No, the boat, either way. The, boat, the boat's the main object, so we... Just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to maximise our, our time on the boat. Yes, masks on. I'm, I'm, put, I'm putting it on the hot bar. I'm putting it on as soon as I start feeling it. Putting it on now. <coughs> I've got a fucking bleed. Did you get a bleed? I did the exact same thing, yes. It went into my hands instead of on, on my face. Yeah. If you put it on your hotbar, you can see how long is left on the filter. Uh, not for mine, because it... Uh... Maybe put the filter on the hotbar? I guess my stand to half. What if I can take it off up here? <coughs> nope. You can't take it off on the top. Fucking fishing rod. I got some bacon, Toby. It's tier four loot. Yeah, I've had some tank bag. Put it around C, mag. You done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what did you find? Just a VSS? VSS, an AKM. Oh, an AKM's good. Do you want me to carry one? Or are you took your gun down? Triple carry. Chuck one down, I've got room in the backpack. I think there's one container here. I don't know if it's got loot in it. Standardized suppressor. Oh, that's not too yeah, bad. Come on, as well. You could do 
do one half of those boats on um, on a full gas mask. So you're getting a bit low on. I've I've gone through half, I would say. Because mine was on three quarters anyway. I like the uh, condensation on the screen. Yeah, it happens when you get twenty five percent, and then when you get right down and start getting low, he starts breathing very heavily. Uh, nice little indicators for um, when you need to start thinking about bugging out. Like you could have twenty five percent. Like I need to start eggs filling. Oh, I picked up a 1911 as well, but it's not... Yeah, I, I, there was a lot of ACP in there. My slow was very underwhelming. Yeah, so was mine. I think it's because it's, it's... It's one of those things that really should be toxic. Well, the AKM... It's all got tier, tier 4 loot in it. This stuff you can't get. The AKM is uh, the one that takes the drum mag and is the tier 4 toxic loot. You can only get it in the toxic, toxic zone. Toxic loot. So it's so a kind of average first run, I suppose. Um, we get all this lot squirreled away. Now, we're going to be doing more toxic runs, both at the Briffy and later in the series at Pavlovo as well. Right, about that V3S that we want to try and get going so we can move the base. There's actually a wheel inside here. So it just needs a battery. Is there any wheels on that one? Oh. And take me a minute. I've got to find us a battery then. There's a repair kit here. Car, I'll grab it a second. I've just picked it up. Do you want to dump it so you can fix the tyres? Yeah. Put it in the green hut. Now, also, should anyone beat us to that particular vehicle, there's another one as a backup plan, then, just over the way, only about a kilometre away. Uh, it needs two doubles and two singles. But it's... and it's green, but it's still got the white tarp on it. So it's Operation Find a Big Gas Battery, and that is something that we thought would be easy, but it took us way into the night, we've split up, I'm close to Novo, still not got a battery. There's a guy running down the road here. It's definitely not you. Oh, nope, might, might have a battery. Maybe. his hands. Battery. I wonder if he's spotted me. The geezer seem to have shut the door. He definitely went in that built in, in that one there. It was open. I saw him go in. But then I don't know what happened afterwards. Because I had the trees between me. Well he could just, just go in there, shut the door and go for a pee. It seems a bit risky for me. It seems very risky. Go and have a look. Okay. 
Who's gas shooting that way? The guy's just knocked out of it. Back to I don't know, which I'm still seems a bit. Well, his door's open now, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So Toby's left us for the evening. I'm still out and about looking for a battery, and I'm on the northeast airfield, and we've spotted this dude. What's in his hands? A knife. Yo. Oh, man. Look at the food, man. Yeah, I can't help you, I'm afraid. Good luck. Good spot. I didn't see him. Oh shit, what's up, dude? <laughs> Careful. I'll fuck him up. Yeah. I'm gonna shut him in here if you want to run out. Shut that door on the way out. Shut the door. Yeah, dude, I got killed by two other guys, man. <clears throat> they were fucking fully loaded from the fucking military base. They seemed cool at first, but then they fucking shot me in the back of the head, dude. It's not good. Where was that? Fucking. Oh, uh, dude, it was way back, um, I can't even think of the spawn, dude. It's by a fucking lighthouse, man. <clears throat> yeah, that, that was sounds, like you, got, the sounds like you got a cold. I'm just dropping some pills for you. Oh, I do got a cold. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Thank you, brother. Oh, my God. You are the fucking best, bro. I've not got a, sl a slightest bit of food on me, though. How many do eat? Just a couple? I just one, eat one. Just eat one, one and once one the pill one. goes away, put another one in. Should need three to clear it. Are you sure you don't... Do you need them? No, no, keep them. I've, I've split the ones I've got. Okay. I really need food, dude. I'm in the red right now. I'm fucking killing I, I got some saline I can give you, some charcoal tablets. Man, I, if I had some food, I'd give it you. I've got, I've got not a thing. Um, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. There's a town just over that way. Straight over that hill. Just over the hill? Yeah. Uh, just where you. the sun's coming up. You haven't seen a, a truck battery, have you, anywhere? Truck battery? No, I have not. All right, well, good luck, man. Sorry, brother. That's the title might be Base Bandits. Doesn't mean to say that we have to kill everyone we come across. You know, it's still like I still like to play DayZ, like I like to play DayZ. Anyway, we're over in Krasno. So many head torches. These have been knocked down, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Fucking loads of shit been knocked down here. Maybe to make a base in this garage. Yeah. Scared the fuck out of me, that bit. I have to tell you. Whereabouts was he?
He might have someone else with him, like, there's two of them probably making that base. You immediately go from searching for a battery to trying to stay alive. I got saved by the zombies there, really. Ah, here it is. It is that's him, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. He thought he'd done the job. He thought I was dead. Like, he come piling around that corner, saw that I was on the floor, thought he'd killed me. Then realised he'd got a problem with the zombies. I want to wait until I'm three quarters before I start doing anything too heroic, though. Don't have a look what he's busy with over there. Could always be another one. Give us a little bit of time to sort of look over the area. See if anyone else turns up. He was shooting like a fucking trooper though. He was, he was at me with a with a magnum. It, it like just before it, I said oh, he's cutting all these trees down to make a base in this in this garage, and then I hopped over the fence because I couldn't be asked to run round, and that would have alerted him. I mean, this worked out in my favour, but I probably should have just fronted him up with a shotgun instead of trying to run. But he like. When he got himself hid behind the second door, it's not ideal. So I thought I'd try and put a bit of distance, and then I've always got this, this, this is an option, this gun. Then I can just pick them off when I want them. Okay, we're on three quarters, we can go. I think what we do is we actually take the barrel, leave all this shit here. can see it but right let's go back let's see if the guy's got a, a battery oh my god if he's got a truck battery I'm gonna be loving it oh it was close but I'm taking your battery anyway you bitch now I wouldn't have done that to his base had he not tried to kill me but, you know, that's just the way it goes. Next episode on the Base Bandit, we're going to be moving to a new location.